Okay, this video tutorial is going to be slightly different. We're going to look at complete control a system that I'm absolutely in love with at the studio here that we use every day for a compositional process. And we're going to do another tutorial where we talk about the actual controller. But one of the things we're going to look at in this tutorial is how to set up non NKS compatible plugins inside complete control. So let's take a few minutes and have a look at that. So right away, when you look at this here, this is Omnisphere. And Omnisphere is actually not set up as a traditional plugin inside Complete Control. But what you will notice is that it's listed here in the user parameters. And if you look at all of the other non NKS plugins, you'll notice that they don't actually show up. They show up under other and there's no image associated to them. There's no file associated to them. But here's a couple of non NKS ones, Spire and Omnisphere 2. And what's important about those is that when they load up into the NKS system, you'll actually be able to use your your controller in front of you properly with it. So what you've got to do is you've got to make a few changes to your system in order to be able to adapt that. The first thing that you have to be able to do is make sure that inside the user content folder, you've got a matching user content folder. In this case, this is all of the Spire content that is mapped. And you can see that it ends with NKSF. So that's one of the first things that you need to be able to do. The second thing that you need to be able to do is that there is a set of N1 resource files that you're going to need. You're going to need what's known as a distribution database file, and you're also going to need an image file. So let's have a look at the distribution database. So you can see in here, in the case of the reveal sound, the spire, if I open this up in the notepad editor, you can see exactly how the mapping is. This. It's reveal sound is the vendor and the product is spire dash one dash one. So it's set up already in the right category. And you could see under file type, it's filed under instruments and the category is synthesizers. So this kind of setup, there's been a number of users who've done this online and I can put the links in the bottom of the video too as well. But the great part about this is all of your sounds will start to show up correctly. One of the things that has been done here is I've also set up Serum 64. And if you go back to folder here, Serum 64, these are all the ones I've manually mapped myself. So all of my favorite Serum presets, and we'll get into how we use Serum in another tutorial. But once you've got all of this set up and you pull up an instrument track, let's do that right now. Let's pull up a complete control track. So if that comes, and then if I go into complete control itself, and I go to X64 and I pull up a patch. See how it pulls up inside the complete control surface? But more importantly is that all of the critical parameters, all eight of them and all of the pages and windows of all of this complexity are all mapped inside your complete control. You're gonna love that. So I encourage you to look up mapping templates for non NKS plugins. I'll include the link bottom of this video. And as always, happy programming, happy looping.